it's it's really great to hear that um, you know the people that came through Wave have become top performers, such that you're encouraging you know you encourage one of them to to move on to uh, much better things. It's you know in, in the space that we are, the employer would want to keep their best talent. So, what was that feeling like for you? Um, why did you think it was okay to lose your best your best talent? Well, because I knew one. Um, I, I was confident that I'd find somebody to replace him, and I right. have because you know. So you know there was that, and you don't want it to resentment to not resentment, but you know what? It, once I mean, he was intelligent to know that you know he too, you know when this was when, when more. more. Yeah, he wanted more, and as I explained to him, look, you're a young man, you're going to get married, you're going to have children. So you know you're you're gonna have to be a provider, mm. and you know you can do a lot better than this. Not that my shop is bad, but right. you know it's not working in a multinational company. It's not somewhere where you can grow and build up your CV. Mm. I mean, mm. It is it is it is what it is. What is Renew really Room? When did you start? Why did you start? Just briefly, um, why did you do what you do, and and who is your who do you target? Okay, so. As I said, my name is um, Dr. Fumi Ogunlesi, um, and I'm the owner of the Reading Corner. Um, we started off in 2013 as an online bookstore, bookstore for children. Yes, and our main target is well, no, our main target, um, which is not audience market, yes, are parents. Okay, so we're trying to capture parents and get parents um, attention to the importance of reading mm -hmm. and to motivating their children to develop and love a habit of reading. Mm -hmm. So um, that was our main target market. Mm -hmm. um, so we started off as an online bookstore. We slowly grew um, from selling books at home. Now we only have, we've gone back one to our store. flagship store in Ikoi, where we just have one bookstore now mm. that serves the, the, the whole of lagos yes that does it does okay yes. uh, we so have a range of books we have a great range of books okay from children yeah. from zero to 16. Mm. um so you know and as well as having the popular titles i'm more for um classics personally mm. <laughs> <laughs> and books that are written well but right. i know that children they tend to like, um, you know, the diary annotated books, books with <laughs> color, you know, graphic novels. But you know, as they say, it's it's about encouraging them to read, and hopefully, if they start with that, they will gravitate you know, and grow into reading. Yeah, gravitate to more one. serious novels yes. that will increase their vocabulary and improve on their English and grammar. So, first of all, the kinds of books that you sell, did you mind sharing those kinds of books? Um, you said classic. Uh, all, all books. All, all books. books. We sell books for early readers. Um, we sell um, books up until age 16. So we have quite a few teen books, um, nine plus books, um, classic books, um, educational books. Mm. We sell um, GCSE, books for GCSEs, secondary school, from, you know, from three, I'd say um, and there's no child that really needs a book before the age of three, man. <laughs> <Work books, exercise laughs> books from three to sixteen. Right. We sell books for a yes. So we have all of those, and you know our books. One thing about um, the books in the reading corner is, um, if anybody shows me a book and says, "Do you have it?" I will tell them yes or no because each book I personally selected, so I know all the books. All the books. Store. Yeah, I do. Fantastic. They're all selected by me. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. No, I do. I, I buy the books myself. I choose them myself. Wow. I research the books myself. You research based on um, your experience or is based on what people's demands? Well, you see, I do make special orders for people, but then I look for books like, you know, I research online what books, the popular books for nine-year-olds, mm. popular books, you, you know, there's popular books, books that increase um, your grammar, vocabulary. Your vocabulary, that help with creative writing, things like that. I then go and look at the reviews for books, 
and then that's how I buy them, like that. Interesting. I go Thank to you. book shows and yeah, things like that. Um, how you know you heard about Wave and, and that relationship so far? It was um, a friend of mine. Um, we were just discussing about stuff because we both own shops, and I was like, you know, where did you where do you get your stuff from? And you know, she told me about Wave, so I called and I asked for I asked some questions. Yes. They were answered quite well, and I think I also met your MD as well. So one of your um, one of the directors as well. Incidentally, yes, I forgot about that. Her son and my daughter, her daughter and my son were attend the same school. Okay. Coincidentally, so wow. and I think she came to the store to pick up a book. Wow. Okay. I don't know. How we got talking, and I knew that she was um, one of the directors of Waves. Right. But um, from there, um, I just I just you've been my go-to people to get staff not that i've had to call you very often you know because i've had i had my first staff as i said i've had for three years yes and i said it's like i encouraged him it's to move on. Yes, move on yes yes because he had more skills and it was almost as if i was in keeping him would have been selfish to himself to mm. me, sorry, would have been mm. selfish to me, and it's not helping him as a young person. Mm. And so, you know, I encouraged him to move on, and I, he has left now. But mm. I've, my, he's since been replaced by another staff from Wave, who appears to be doing quite well so wow. far. So, yes. So, I mean, that, that point you mentioned, it's it's really great to hear that um, you know the people that came through Wave have become top performers, such that you're encouraging you know you encourage one of them to to move on to uh, much better things it's you know in, in the space that we are the employer would want to keep their best talent so what was that feeling like for you um why did you think it was okay to lose your best your best talent well because i knew one um i, I was confident that i'd find somebody to replace him and i right. have because you know so you know there was that and you don't want it to resentment to not resentment but you know what once i mean he was intelligent to know that you know he too you know when this was when, when more yeah he wanted more and as i explained to him look you're a young man you're gonna get married you're gonna have children so you know you're you're gonna have to be a provider mm. and you know you can do a lot better than this not that my shop is bad but right. you know it's not working in a multinational company it's not somewhere where you can grow and build up your cv mm. and mm. it is it is it is what it is <laughs> um thank you for sharing that so why would you refer any business to wave why I think, um, as I said before, I would have referred uh, several of my friends to Wave, and oh. I told them that you know, I have. Yes, I have already, because um, I like the way you actually interview the employer yeah. to find out what exactly they want, and you try your best to find a match for them. It's rarely that um, I have a made a request that i just get one person or you know or just say oh it's just this one person we have you know this and the other there's usually several candidates and for me you know to run a bookstore you actually find people who have a love of reading who are interested mm. in reading mm. you know and who actually want to work in that field which has been mm. quite good so i've mm. been lucky and i think that for me if you can find people like that in nigeria then if you can help me find the right staff then you can help most people find the right, find the staff. right staff right something you said that caught my attention you said we interview the employer because i was hoping to hear employee so we interview the employer to find out what are their needs right before mm -hmm. making a match and that's what mm -hmm. that's what could source mm. right <laughs> okay uh so before we wrap up because we said this is only 15 minutes what is next for, for the Reading Corner in terms of um, growth, uh, in terms of um, project? What, what is next for the, for the Reading Corner? Um, I think what we're, what we're planning to do now is really to relaunch um, our reading rooms. Um, so that you sorry, know, sorry, children you repeat that? Relaunch our reading rooms so that children will have a place where they can come and read 
um, okay. start the classes, um, try and do some more online engagements, like maybe mm. having some reading online mm. and things like that. And mm. then we're going to take a few steps back and go back to how we started. Yes, because mm. one of our mottos was the first children's bookstore, first online children's bookstore in Nigeria. So, you know, right. <laughs> right. you have to set the pace. We find it like it dropped that for a while. So, I think it's time for us to reclaim our title. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Dr. Fumi. Um, it's been a pleasure um, listening to you talk about the reading corner. I was going to ask you, I don't know if it's possible for some of us who have old books. Do you in any way have maybe outdoor events where you give books to? Uh, people, you know, people who, who need the books than, than we do. I mean, so all that finish school and, and all those kind of things. Do no, I always, kind of uh, people, are, that's a common question that people always ask me, what do I do with their old books? And I'm like, well, bring the books to me because okay. I always have people who need and who in schools, public schools, right. hospitals, right. Um, orphanages, where I send the books to. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. I will be the first. Mm -hmm to send my books along because I have I have a lot of books from my university days and my primary school days. I'm so happy <laughs> to send them send them over. Um again thank you so much for your time. No, I really no, like it was short Um we truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank bye, you. Thank you very much. Have bye, a nice everyone. weekend. You too. Bye bye. Thank you so much for thank you everyone for joining this this session. Um we're gonna be back next month with another partner of ours. So like I mentioned earlier, we do this every month. We invite um, our partners across our business arms, corporate training, growth partners, and um, employer partner. Dr. Fumi is an employer partner of WAVE, and we heard her talk about, not talk, gloat about the partnership with WAVE, how she's hired multiple people from WAVE, and uh, how she even encouraged one of uh, the first, her first employee to move on uh, because she thought he had more potential. Um, so if you are an employer on this on this session and um, you're thinking of where to hire um, trained and um, quality employee, please reach out to us uh, and we would, um, we would support you with that need. My name is Kelvin once again and this has been 15 Minutes with your partner. See you next month. Bye.